Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and the jungle survival. You might hear this piece of advice quite often regarding outdoor adventures, and that is, the best survival knife is the one you have on you. I think that is completely useless advice. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, do check out my shop links in the pinned comment or description and you can even join the channel as a member. So when someone asks what's the best survival knife for the outdoors and the answer is the one that you have on you at that time, I think that is useless advice because it is not helpful at all. Because that's not what someone is asking. It's like if someone asks you what is the best food to eat for survival in the outdoor environment and you say the best food is whatever you can find. That is just not helpful. And if we talk about an outdoor environment, if you're going out there, you should be planning and prepping for it. So I'm not talking about in a scenario where you're in a plane, it crashes and you, you happen to survive the crash and then you're out in the wild. Now, chances are you might not even have a knife on you simply because of regulations. So you might go through luggage and maybe you might be lucky. But we're talking about scenarios where you're actually going out to the jungle or to the forest or wherever you might be going and you're going to bring a knife with you that you think will help you in all kinds of situations from your everyday activities but also if things go bad. So that's really where the question is and people want to know what's the best survival knife. So telling them that it's whatever you have on you at the time that's not helpful because honestly, if you bring this or you have this on you and you go out to the jungle, this honestly is not going to be helpful. As you move up to, let's say, a folder like this camp knife or the Buck 112, ah, now it gets slightly better. You have a locking knife, you got a hollow grind, which is pretty sharp. This is uh, pretty strong and you might be able to do some work with that if you need. Of course, if you're going out in my environment, which is the tropical jungle, you want to bring a fixed blade. And I'm sure if you are in a boreal forest, same thing, you would probably favor a fixed blade over a small folding knife. And then of course, the choice of knife is really up to you. Some people prefer a smaller knife, some people prefer bigger knives. Blade steel, again, it's up to you, high carbon or stainless steel. Do you prefer a full tang knife or are you okay with a partial tang knife? Again, these are questions, of course, you have to ask and you have to figure out which works best for you. And technically, any of these larger knives will work well. The general consensus is when it comes to a survival knife, people prefer a larger knife, maybe six, seven inches, as opposed to the four or four and a half inch variety. I generally do prefer a larger knife as well, full tang when I go out to the jungle. Even though I have a parang, because again, you are prepared and I believe in the three knife rule. But if I only had to bring maybe one or two knives, then yes, I would have one knife which would be larger, full tang, uh, so that it can chop, it can slice, it can cut, and I want to do the things and process the items and resources that I'll find in the tropical jungle. And if you are in a different environment, uh, maybe you're in a forest, in a temperate climate, maybe you're in a desert, then of course your knife choice would change. But you would never think that you'd just bring a small knife or a knife that's not adequate and say, well, that's the knife I have on me, so that's the best survival knife. So this is a short video, but it is a rant because I hear this too often. And what do you think? Do you think that is useless advice, as I say, because it's not helpful? Or do you think there is some truth in it and you should know how to use whatever you have on you in order to survive. To me, that again is not very helpful because that's exactly what someone would do in a survival situation. They would use whatever they have to try to survive. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.